This movie begins with a samurai warrior called Hanzo, teaching his son about a life lesson concerning the power of a scorpion, because of its will to fight. After a father and son relaxing moment together, Hanzo takes his son back to the village only for them to be ambushed by a clan called the Lin Kuel. To defend himself, Hanzo began to fight them in a brutal way, breaking their bones with a punch, but runs away with his son after realizing he is outnumbered by the clan. He goes to a hiding spot only to discover that his entire village has already been massacred. Hanzo hurries to check on his wife who is not even recognizable, as she has also been killed by the clan. Hanzo became so angry, and killed every of the ninjas, slicing both their body and piercing their faces, making sure no one got out alive. Suddenly a man called Sub-Zero appears holding his son's neck, and threatens Hanzo to surrender. As Hanzo surrenders, Sub-Zero traps him using his ice powers, and made him watch as he slowly strangled his innocent son to death. Hanzo cries as he promises revenge, but Sub-Zero kills him before he could utter any more word. The scene suddenly takes us to a temple, where we see a monk called Liu Kang meditating, until a mysterious person from the dark started attacking him. With concentration, Liu Kang pins the person down to the ground just to find out it was his master, Lord Raiden, who turns out to be only testing his skills for the upcoming tournament. In China, we see a large number of people placing their bet on a street fight. In the fight is a girl called Sonia Blade, who is getting the beating of her life from a really huge opponent, called the China Rock. Sonia remembers all her moments and trainings from the special forces, which motivated her to return back on her feet, and uses a strong metal to break the guy's teeth, and finishes him with a smash on his face. A mysterious guy in the crowd who saw her impressive fighting skills, invited her to a Mortal Kombat tournament. She agrees to join the tournament after finding out her sworn enemy Kano will be there. Meanwhile, Hanzo resurrected from the dead in the netherworld, with himself tied up in chains. He is confronted by the Demon King who began to torture him really badly. Hanzo smartly draws the demon attention to him, and tears off his ears with his teeth, and frees himself using a lava in other to fight for his life. Hanzo quickly picks up the sharpest sword he can find, and slashes the demon into two, after a brief fight. Hanzo later meets with a magician in the netherworld called Quan Chi, who persuaded Hanzo to fight for him in the Mortal Kombat tournament, as well stealing a very powerful key, and he will help him get his revenge on Sub-Zero, and bring his dead family back to life. Hanzo agrees to this appealing deal without hesitation, and changes his name to a demonic ninja, Scorpion. As the tournament is about to begin, two Earth fighters called Johnny Cage, a rich Hollywood actor, and Sonya Blade from the Special Forces, were recruited by Lord Raiden along with his student Liu Kang, so they can defend Earth Realm by fighting in the Mortal Kombat tournament. On the other hand, Scorpion arrives at a hidden island and goes forward to steal a special key according to Quan Chi orders, but is apprehended by Lord Raiden, who tells him that Quan Chi is only deceiving him and will never return his family back to him. As the Mortal Kombat tournament between the Earth Champions and the Netherworld Champions was about to begin, intending to entertain everyone, Shang Chung the representative leader of the Netherworld brought out one of his prisoners Jax, Sonya Blade commanding officer, who was captured by a mercenary Kano, and is forced to fight his champion called Goro. When the fight began, Jax immediately loses his confidence after realizing the fight was totally out of his league. Goro toys him around like a little kid, and finishes him off by ripping his both arms away. But just as Jax was about to be killed, Lord Raiden appears in anger, and heals Jax's wounds, knocking out Goro with just a fist. Lord Raiden is angry at Shang Chung because this fight is not in accordance with the rules, as the Mortal Kombat tournament hasn't started yet. Jax is taken back into Shang Chung custody, who officially begins the tournament by sending each of the fighters in a separate dimension to fight on a one-on-one -on -one combat. First fight is Johnny Cage vs. Baraka. Looking at the way he was being attacked, Johnny realizes that this tournament is no movie set but a real fight. He dodges all the strikes causing Baraka to set the building on fire with his blades. He quickly escapes just before the building was about to be collapsed, leaving Baraka to be crushed by the bricks. The next fight in the tournament is Sonya Blade vs. Reptile. Sonya is having a really tough time in this fight, as Reptile has the power of invisibility. She then smartly decides to pretend as if she's dead, prompting Reptile to finally show his true form in front of her. Sonya takes the opportunity to fight him again, overpowering him with her outstanding fighting skills, and finishes him by ripping his head off. Scorpion who is still hungry for revenge, sees one of Sub-Zero clan members and captures him. He kills the guy after he wasn't getting any answers concerning Sub-Zero's whereabouts, and heads forwards to track him down. Next fight is Liu Kang vs Katana. Looking at the way Liu Kang was only defending, it's obvious that he doesn't want to hurt her, but instead he begs her to stop. As she keeps attempting to kill him, he puts her to the ground and threatens to kill her if she doesn't back down. 
it turns out that all of Lord Raiden champions are winning the tournament, which made Shang Chung so furious. He informs Raiden that all his champions will not make it far, as a dangerous clan called the Black Dragon will soon attack them. Raiden is outranged, believing it's another way of Shang Chung cheating to defeat his champions. After the tournament, all the champions of Raiden reunited together, but they see Scorpion finishing of some members from the Black Dragon clan. Thinking Scorpion is the bad guy, they were about to fight him, but Johnny Cage stops the commotion, reminding that fighting each other isn't worth the time, because they have a bigger threat they should be preparing for. Johnny after everything he has experienced, couldn't still believe monsters and magic is real, but Sonya talks some sense to him, saying everything he has seen so far is real. Lord Raiden suddenly appears in front of them, telling his champions to quickly head back to the temple where their final battle awaits them. On their way to the temple, the group were surrounded by the black dragons, they are afraid due to they were outnumbered, but as Liu Kang notices one of them disguised as Scorpion, he immediately gains his confidence to fight. Scorpion comes out of the disguise and started to attack them by using his weapon to purse their heads together, while the rest of them joins him. Whenever Johnny tries to fight, he is always ending up in Sonya protection as she believes him to be weak. Liu Kang unleashes his best moves called the bicycle kick, and finishes of the rest of the Black Dragon members. Kano shows up from nowhere and started to shoot as the group makes their escape. While he was having his fun, Sub-Zero appears and kicks him away for dishonoring the Mortal Kombat tournament, while the vengeful Scorpion was watching from behind. He attacks Sub-Zero off guard, saying he is finally going to take his revenge on his family, but Sub-Zero appears to be really confused, but still has to defend himself. After a brief fight, Scorpion uses his only option of killing him by throwing himself along with Sub-Zero on a spike, that killed them both, while Sonya and Johnny Cage chases after Kano so they can find Jax. It is revealed that Scorpion is still not dead, and we see Quan Chi yelling on him for not focusing on his mission on stealing the special keys, but instead fighting Sub-Zero. Feeling annoyed, Quan Chi reveals that he was really the one that killed his family by using his magic to disguise himself as Sub-Zero. Quan Chi goes away believing he is as good as dead, but Scorpion later pulls himself out of the spike. Sonya while on the chase for Kano stops after finding Jax in his custody. Kano releases a group of gigantic monsters to fight her, who ended up beating her up as she is unable to fight off that many monsters alone. Liu Kang arrives at the temple to fight Shang Chung final champion Goro, who appears to be winning the fight. As Sonya was about to be killed by the monsters, Johnny Cage comes out from nowhere, and smashes the monster to rescue Sonya, who is left shocked on how he can actually fight. Together, they both defeated all the monsters with their outstanding fighting skills, and went to kill Kano who threatens if they move any closer, he will kill Jax. Jax bites his hand, giving Sonya the chance to take him down. Meanwhile, Goro is beating life and death out of Liu Kang. Shang Chung finds out that Quan Chi tries to poison him, so he can take the special key in his possession to free his master Shinnok. He captures Quan Chi, while Goro was about to rip out Liu Kang arms upon his orders, but Scorpion kills Goro from behind. Seeing his last champion dead, Shang Chung tries to persuade Scorpion that if he kills Liu Kang, he can hand over Quan Chi to him for his revenge. Scorpion instead attacks Shang Chung after thinking this through, threatening him to hand over the key to him and therefore ending the tournament. Shang Chung is about to fight them, but backs down as soon as Lord Raiden shows up. He transported himself back to the netherworld, promising revenge on them. Without Shang Chung powers the whole temple will collapse, so Raiden and Liu Kang runs out of the temple, leaving Scorpion and Quan Chi to their fate. Quan Chi and Scorpion gets into a really epic fight as they were both smashing bones, but Scorpion was at advantage, because he can't die no matter how Quan Chi pierces his body with a sword. Scorpion weakens Quan Chi with a really massive punch, tearing his both arms to pieces, ripping his head off, and finishes him by burning him down so he will never be able to reincarnate. The part 2 of this movie begins as we see two couples with a baby, who are being killed by a clan called the Tarkatans, but Lord Raiden appears and saves the couple's baby. Before the mother gave her last breath, she names the baby Liu Kang. Years after the conclusion of the Mortal Kombat tournament, the king of the netherworld called Shao Kahn, commanded his army to attack Earth Realm, which is being protected by Kung Lao, Stryker, and Jax, who are at the borders preventing the army from breaching the gates, while Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade, Liu Kang, and Lord Raiden are busy fighting off Shao Kahn best warriors called Katana, Kentaro, Reiko, and Baraka. Shao Kahn himself appears in a blast and stops the fight, and proposes a deal to end the bloodshed against their realms permanently. He wants Lord Raiden to travel along with him to see the Elder Gods, petitioning them for another tournament, the final Mortal Kombat. To stop the endless cycles of brutality, Raiden agrees to Shao Kahn's proposal without hesitation, and went along with Shao Kahn to meet the Elder Gods. 
Scorpion finds himself in the netherworld after his fight with Quan Chi, and he is confronted by a Grand Master Shinnok. Shinnok explains that the key Scorpion took from Shang Chung is now bond to his soul, and threatens him to go to the Earth Realm and enter the Temple of Elements, to help him steal a special artifact. Scorpion denies his request and runs away to the Earth Realm. Shinnok orders his soldiers to hire the Lin Kuel clan to capture him. In the Lui Kuel Temple, the master of that place gives Kui Laing and Smoke the mission to capture Scorpion. The master reveals the other two of his warriors called Cyrax and Sector, who he has now transformed into a cybernetic form. Scorpion is the most dangerous ninja warrior in existence, so the master orders Cyrax and Sector to forcefully turn Kui Laing and Smoke into one of them, so they can all be capable in capturing Scorpion. Kui Laing manages to escape, but Smoke is left behind, and is being initiated by the cyborgs. Raiden and Shao Kahn shows up in front of the Elder Gods, to seek their permission for a final tournament between their realms. Raiden also appeals to them to take away his immortality and godly powers, so he can participate in the tournament as a contestant on behalf of Earth Realm. The Elder Gods agrees to their request, and Raiden goes back to the Earth Realm as a normal human being, and immediately gathers all his champions to join the tournament. After all his champions enters the portal, Scorpion meets with Raiden, revealing all the evil plans of Shinnok. Raiden tells him that the artifact Shinnok wanted him to steal is called the Kamadagu, that has the power to release the one being into the world. Raiden is now human so he has no power to separate Scorpion's soul with the key, so he advises Scorpion to hide himself so he won't be spotted by Shinnok. Raiden and his champions are transported to the fortress of Shao Kahn, who introduces them to his warriors in the tournament called Li Mei, Shang Chung, Kitano, Devora, Baraka, Reiko and Jade. As the tournament begins, Johnny Cage is defeated by Devora without him getting to fight. Liu Kang defeated Jade with a very brutal punch, Stryker wins his fight against Baraka with a very outstanding fighting skills, Sonya Blade defeats Li Mei by brutally smashing her head to the ground, while Kitano is killed by Jax. Back at the Earth Realm, Scorpion was ambushed by Sector and Cyrax, and is later joined by Smoke who is now turned into a cyborg. Scorpion is outnumbered and defeated by the cyborgs, who captures and takes him to the gates of the temple forcing him to use the key in opening the gates. The cyborgs were about to kill him after he opened the gates, but Kui Liang freezes the cyborgs, as he intends to kill Scorpion himself, to avenge the death of his brother, Sub-Zero. After a never-ending battle, Scorpion persuaded Kui Liang to join forces with him to protect the artifact against the cyborgs, who are planning to resurrect the destroyer of the world. Scorpion and Kui Liang were both defeated, and the cyborgs takes the artifact and escapes to the netherworld. Back at the tournament, Raiden finishes of his opponent Reiko, by using an ancient combat techniques. Sonya wins her fight against Devora. Shao Kahn effortlessly defeated Jax, while Shang Chung defeated Stryker with a brutality. In the final round, Kung Lao fights with Shao Kahn who easily uses his weapon to tear into two, while Katana engages in a combat with Raiden who spears his life after a brief fight, and betrays Shao Kahn by attacking him. Shao Kahn imprisoned Katana after giving her the beating of her life, while Liu Kang fights with Shang Chung who disables his left arm using his magic. But despite this disadvantage, Liu Kang still wins the fight, but decided to spare Shang Chung's life. Meanwhile, the master of the Liu Kuel clan arrives with his cyborgs, and delivers the artifact to Shinnok but later wanted to fight him after he reveals his evil plans on bringing the one being into the world. Just as the master and his cyborgs were killed by Shinnok monsters, Scorpion and Kui Liang arrives, but they were unable to stop Shinnok from resurrecting the one being. On the other hand, Raiden engages in a final fight with Shao Kahn. Raiden really displayed a good combat skill, but wasn't powerful enough to defend Shao Kahn punches. Raiden was sadly killed very brutally by Shao Kahn, and as Liu Kang sees the man who has been like a father to him being killed in such a way, he furiously goes to fight Shao Kahn. This fight was the most legendary in the tournament, with Shao Kahn gaining the upper hand at first, until Liu Kang unleashes a fire technique which he furiously uses to overpower Shao Kahn in the fight and eventually kills him with one final kick, leaving the whole crowd at shock. For winning the Mortal Kombat tournament, the Elder Gods appears in front of Liu Kang, and rewarded him with the power of a god to fight against Shinnok, who has already fused himself with the One Being and is about to destroy all the realms. With his godly powers, he teleported Johnny, Sonya, Jax and Katana to the Nether Realm to stop Shinnok and his armies, and are later joined by Scorpion and Kui Liang. Liu Kang transforms himself to a gigantic dragon and engages on a one-on-one -on -one combat with Shinnok, while the others joins the military in fighting Shinnok army. Shinnok gains the upper hand but with Scorpion and Kui Liang interference, Liu Kang finally defeated him, and returns the world back to normal. The movie ends with Sonya Blade giving Johnny a kiss, and they are left unsettled that the fight will still continue, 
because Shao Kahn's body is nowhere to be found. From afar, Raiden is revived and got his godhood back while watching them as he lives with a lightning showing in the sky. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel and keep watching. Bye.